The Hunter Valley is the oldest wine region in Australia. There are over 150 wineries in this area. I'm here to introduce you to some of the unique characters that makes a Hunter Valley a must-visit food and wine destination. I'm Billy Law. Come with me and let's explore Hunter Valley together. Well, Hunter Valley is famous for its Sauvignon and Shiraz, but today I'm looking for something a little bit sweeter. In fact, I'm going to start with chocolate. That's why here I am at Coconip. I'm going to meet Amy. We're going to talk about chocolate and taste some chocolate, actually a lot of chocolate. That's why I love my job. Hey, Amy. Hi, Billy. How are you? Good, thanks. I'm loving this place. I feel like a big kid in the candy store. Well, Thank you. chocolate store. <laughs> yes. I mean, it's a beautiful spot here. You know, Kiv Telic wine. Like, there's a restaurant, chocolate store, and wine. I, I, it's almost like a, I don't know, sensory destination? It is. <laughs> I'm new here on the estate, yeah. um, and the response has been absolutely amazing. Tell me more about this chocolate, what we're trying here. Excuse me while I'm stuck. Yes, yes. So what I've got for you today is a selection of some of my most popular chocolates. This one is a raspberry chocolate made with a blend of milk and dark chocolate with raspberry puree in the centre. I use um, Swiss and French chocolate for everything that I make. I'm just going to start eating. Yeah, so that's, my, that's a new one to my collection. It's a crispy lemon praline. Whoa. That is really, really good. Yeah, that's my favourite at the moment. Well, I would love to sit here and gorge all the chocolates today, but unfortunately, I gotta go and cook with Frank later on, so I hope you remember my white chocolates. I sure did. I've got a lovely bag of Swiss chocolate here for you. Beautiful. Well, thank you, Amy. I'm gonna take this with me for the road. Thank you. Thank you. With a bunch of super sweet chocolate, it only seemed right to pick up a sweet wine. So next stop, the Ulias. Right, Mike, so tell us more about Deulius. How long has it been in Hunter Valley? Oh, uh, my family been growing grapes in the Hunter since the late 80s. Um, but as far as sort of a wine brand, we've been here for oh, the last couple of, uh, since about 96. Um, right. And I've sort of been making wines for the brand since 98. Right, I mean, I can imagine we have quite a sweet spot here. I mean, drinking some Lake Peak Semillon. So tell us more about this wine. Uh, yeah, so this is, a, a, as you said, a Lake Peak Semillon. So it's uh, one that we let hang out a little bit longer just to get a little bit riper, a little bit more concentration right. of sugar within those berries themselves. Okay. And then we harvest it, and when it's fermented, we don't ferment it out to, till it's dry. We stop fermentation so there's a little bit more residual sugar there. Right. Um, now, this isn't as, as sweet as, say, a Botrytis right. um, semion that you may have heard of before. It's, it's a little bit drier than that. Okay. Um, it's a really nice acid. Um, but yeah, not that really sort of cloying sweetness, but enough to go really well with a dessert or you know something a little bit sweet. That sounds like a perfect match for my next dish that I'm going to cook with Frank, because we're going to cook with white chocolate, I think. This would go really well with it. So I think it'll work a treat. Beautiful, thanks. Cheers. Cheers. Last stop for the day was one I've been really looking forward to, a brand new restaurant with a very modern take on the dining experience, EXP. Oh, here I am at EXP. I already passed the white chocolate over to Frank and he's going to dish up a beautiful chocolate dessert for me to pair with this Lake Peak Semillon. So I can't wait to dig in. EXP, it what does it mean? It means experience. So we start with experience, but we're also experimenting with food in here. You get exposure oh. to many wines and produce in the area. Experimenting exposure, expertise of the staff. Um, yeah, it, it encompasses everything to do with dining, and that's what we're all about. So, how's it going, Frank? Yeah, great, Billy. We are just finished now. Here's your oh, white look chocolate at, mousse. Look at that. So, what do we have here? So, we've got a caramelised white chocolate mousse yep. with Italian meringue, mandarin. So, we've got a jelly, mandarin dust, and frozen foam. Right. Also some hazelnut, hazelnut crumb and caramelised white chocolate again. Beautiful. Can I dig in? Yeah, go for it. I think we should. So I believe all these are local produce? Yeah, we try and source as much as we can. <laughs> so local eggs from just down the road, we make all our desserts on those. So Beautiful. our meringue and mousse. Yep. Uh, mandarins from just down at Tinkler's, Tinkler's Wine and Produce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have amazing fruits coming on for the winter season with citrus. Right. And then hazelnuts um, just outside the area, so from Mudgee. We're just waiting for the next season of Hunter Valley hazelnuts to come in, which will be 
next year? No, it's just an art on a plate. So I'm pretty sure you're very jealous right now. For more inspiration, check out gourmethuntervalley.expedia.com.au. Well, thanks, Frank. I think we deserve a toast. Cheers. Cheers. What Hunter Valley inspired dish would you cook to pair with this wine? Post a picture of your dish to Instagram tagging Expedia AU and don't forget to include hashtag Gourmet Hunter. You could win the ultimate foodie weekend getaway to Hunter Valley courtesy of Expedia and Destination New South Wales. As well as your flight, hotel and car hire, you will enjoy a spa session, a boutique wine tour and some truly gourmet meals. For more inspiration, check out gourmethuntervalley.expedia.com.au.